हॅलो एव्हरी वन वेलकम टू माय चॅनल आय एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ॲट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कॅम्पस मालेगाव टुडे इन धिस व्हिडिओ वी विल डिस्कस द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ झोन ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन विच इज यूज इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट विथ द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉवर सिस्टम now what is the basic objective of protection system the basic objective is to provide the isolation of only faulty part quickly without disturbing the rest of the system now to achieve this objective the entire power system is divided into several protective zones the idea is to provide separate protective zone to each and every element of the power system so the protection zone is defined as the part of the power system which is protected by certain protective schemes these are the some major elements that needs the separate protection alternator bus bars transformer transmission lines distribution lines induction motors etc now let us discuss the concept of dead spot in case of protection zone we know that the protection is organized in a very logical fashion to achieve the selectivity selectivity means the protection system should able to detect only that point in the power system at which the fault occurs and disconnect only that part without disturbing the rest of the system so to achieve this selectivity as discussed earlier the entire power system is divided into several protective zones okay so referring to the figure there is a separate zone for the generator separate protective zone for the bus bars similarly separate zones for the transformer transmission line like this okay now for the better understanding let us consider separate generator protection zone you see in the diagram if the fault occurs within the zone then that fault is called as internal fault whereas if the fault occurs outside the zone then that fault is called as external fault now the significance of the protection zone is that if the fault occurs within the zone then only the relay will trip and the circuit breaker will operate meaning is that the protection system will respond only for the internal fault okay so in short for internal fault the relay will operate for external fault relay will not operate now consider the fault f1 it is the internal fault as it is occurring within the transformer zone so the relay and the circuit breaker will operate to isolate the faulty part okay so f1 is the internal fault as it is occurring within the transformer zone so the relay and the circuit breaker will operate to isolate that fault okay now let us consider another fault that is f2 the f2 is the internal fault as it is occurring within the bus zone so the relay and the circuit breaker within the bus zone will operate to isolate the faulty section okay now let us consider third case that is fault f3 now f3 is it in the transformer zone the answer is no is it in the bus zone again the answer is no so f3 neither in the transformer zone nor in the bus zone so no relay will operate okay so even though it is a fault but as it is not coming under any zone no relay will operate and it will not be cleared by the protection system and this may damage the healthy parts of the system so the part which is unprotected is called as what dead spot or the dead zone in the figure you can see 
this these are the parts which is unprotected okay it is shown by the pink color line and that part it is called as what dead zone and we know that no part of the system should be left unprotected okay now the question is that how to avoid the dead spot let us see in the in the figure you can see the adjacent zones are overlapped so that there is no chance of existence of dead spot in the system meaning is that no part of the system will left unprotected due to overlapping but at the same time it must be realized that if the fault takes place in the overlap portion then more circuit breaker gets stripped than minimum necessary to disconnect the faulty element but again the extent of overlapping of protective zones is relatively small and thus the probability of the failure in the overlap regions is also very low consequently the tripping of too many circuit breaker will also be infrequent these are the some references if you like this video then please share and subscribe thank you